Welcome to the lecture on SSB transmitter using filter method. I am Dr. M. R. Bachute, G. H. Raisoni, Institute of Engineering and Technology, Pune. Now, SSB transmitter, there are three methods for SSB transmission. One is filter method. Second is phase shift method. And the third method itself is called as third method. Today we will discuss filter method. Now basically what is the difference between DSB and SSB? When amplitude modulation is happening, amplitude modulation, what are the components present at the output? One is carrier carrier component, USB component and LSB component. Whenever we suppress the carrier, whenever we suppress the carrier because carrier is not having any information. The information is present in USB and LSB. Whereas carrier does not consist of information and in order to save power before we are transmitting, how about suppressing the carrier? which will save power. So, DSB-SC, that is double sideband suppressed carrier, we have already studied in the previous lectures. Now, today we will focus on SSB, that is single sideband modulation technique. Whenever USB and LSB is transmitted, I must say that USB consists of same information signal, repeated in LSB as well. So, we are transmitting the same information. We are transmitting the same information twice. So, how about suppressing either of the sideband and transmitting only one sideband, that is single sideband. So, this would re reduce the power and our purpose of communication which is to transfer the information from one place to another will be achieved. So, we are today discussing about SSB that is single sideband modulation technique. This can be obtained by first using filter method. In filter method, what we do is we are using a carrier signal. Now, we know what is modulation basically. Modulation is a process in which certain characteristics of high frequency signal that is the carrier signal are varied in accordance with the instantaneous values of the low frequency signal. So, here we have a carrier signal, carrier oscillator which generates, which generates the carrier high frequency signals in this particular way and this signal is applied to a balance modulator. This is the balance modulator. Now, in modulation, two signals are involved. One is the carrier signal, which is called as C of T. And another is the actual information signal that is called as modulating signal, M of T. So, whatever we speak on the microphone, say for example, is to be transmitted. Microphone is to be transmitted. Before applying this to the balance modulator, before applying this to the balance modulator, we apply it to the audio filter, audio amplifier, where amplification of the signal takes place and this is applied to the balance modulator. Now, the two inputs for the balance modulator are carrier oscillator input, which is called as C of T carrier signal. And the another input is the amplified version of the information signal M of T. So, the balance modulator basically suppresses, performs amplitude modulation, suppresses the carrier. So, at the output, what we get is DSB signal. Now, DSB signal means we have FC plus FM, which is USB and FC minus FM, which is the LSB. Now, either of these sideband, either of these sideband can be suppressed. Now, I choose to transmit the USB. Say, this is my USB and this is LSB. 
So we choose USB for example. So design a sideband filter. Say use a sideband filter. Choose a sideband filter in such a way that it passes. Say for example we have the spectrum where lower sideband and the upper sideband are present. So I call this as lower sideband and this is the upper sideband. So I choose the filter in such a way the filter response should be like this. So this is the filter response curve and after passing this DSB signal through the filter sideband filter which is having the filter response curve like this so as to choose the upper sideband at the output we have SSB signal. This later is applied to the linear power amplifier. This is a linear power amplifier where amplification of the signal takes place prior to the transmission. This is the transmitting antenna wherein the electrical signals are converted to electromagnetic waves. Why electromagnetic waves? Because we are using space as a channel and these electromagnetic waves can very easily propagate into space. So that is the reason why you are using SSB with power saving option. So this is about the filter method. I request you to watch the next lecture which is based on phase shift method. We will discuss in the next lecture phase shift method. Thank you for watching the video.